Hello, welcome to the tutorial how to calibrate a circle 200. This tutorial shows you how to calibrate a circle 200 in two different ways, automatically and manually. I will start by explaining how to activate the automatic calibration and how to set the settings. For that, a reference air unit is required. The reference air unit is available as instrument air or pump version. For the first step, select the System menu and then System Configuration. Choose Calibration Settings. With the option Time per Test Gas Apply, you can define how long the test gas should be applied during calibration. Enter your system code default value, 4 times 0, and then select the Time per Test Gas Apply. With the next point, you can set the delay time to process. This defines how long the analyzer shows the measuring value before going back to the process value after calibration. By activating the option Measure Value Hold on Calibration, the last measured value will be hold during the calibration and the defined delay time to process. The following settings are only visible if the auto calibration is switched on. For activating the automatic calibration, choose the point Auto Calibration in the calibration settings. Press the On button and confirm it with the check mark. If the auto calibration is turned on, you will find all auto calibration settings below. First, you can select your favorite calibration method. The calibration method determines whether the automatic calibration is carried out as a one-point calibration only with test air or as a two-point calibration with test air and test gas. In this case, we choose the two-point method. Secondly, make sure that the test gas value is according to the value on your test gas bottle. In the next step, you can decide if the calibration should be started by time, by digital input or both. If you choose time, your Circle 200 will do a calibration in specified time intervals automatically. With time and digital input, you still need to configure an interval. To start the calibration, the defined time interval needs to be over and the operator has to start the calibration by digital input. In this case, we select Time. If you have chosen Time or Time and Digital Input, you can determine your intervals by selecting Interval. Under Next Auto Calibration, you can see when the next calibration will be performed. When you have done all these steps, your automatic calibration is activated and adjusted with your favorite settings. If you do not have the reference air unit to do the calibration automatically, you have to do it manually. For that, please go back to the main menu and select Calibration menu. Here you can choose between a 1-point and a 2-point calibration. In this example, we select the two-point calibration again. Enter the system code. First, you have to apply the test gas to the probe before the calibration can be started. If you have done that, confirm with the check mark and the calibration starts automatically. Please wait until the circle gives you the sign to apply the test air. If you see this screen, you can confirm the test air apply with the check mark. Wait again until the test air apply is over. If the circle defies 
you stop the test gas apply, confirm it and wait again. The accuracy of the calibration is dependent on the quality of the certified test gas and the correct input of the test gas data. Due to that, please insert the value on your test gas bottle and make sure that the value is correct. After all these steps, the circuit is calibrated successfully. Thank you for watching this tutorial.